Good morning, welcome back. Uh, today we are in Flamberis Pass again, um, just because it's it's so pretty here and there's so much to do as well. Um, we're out bouldering today, so we've found a bit of a trek uphill, um, a long slog, but we're at the Wavelength Boulder, which is quite, quite a unique looking boulder. It's actually got some weird funky waves in it, hence the name Wavelength. Some weird looking little waves all the way up it. That one in particular is the wavelength um, 7B. Plus. It's quite hard. I think we're going to start on something a little bit um, more gentle than that one. There's a sort of sit, stand up and sit down version of wavelength groove. A stand start. Stand start 6B plus and sit start is 6C. Uh, press awkwardly into the groove somehow, try a knee, continue to the top. A technical gem. Three stars. Technical gem. I think it's, I could sit on that ledge. I think it's one of those, it looks quite straightforward and then you try and do it and realise it's really, really awkward and Kind of sort of with you might be all, you might be all right because you're small. You're going to fit in there a lot better. Okay, that's the warm up mission. Let's get on with it. It's been proving quite tricky. <laughs> yeah, a bit too technical. technical. We've been trying all kinds of crazy Vita, trying to figure out a way up this. Um, and it's not very friendly on Sophie's left shoulder, so she's calling it on this one. But I found some technical a technical knee, a technical knee, some weird Vita with a technical knee. It's a bit scary because you've got to sort of rock over with your knee in kind of pressing on a thumb which feels a bit weird and a bit, and a bit scary but see if we can make it work
Well, I'm not sure about three stars, but happy to get it done. It's definitely awkward, is probably the way to describe it. Well done. <sighs> Yay, first boulder tick. Yay, it wasn't quite the... the, the it's a good warm-up. <laughs> the gentle warm-up. Never mind. Oh. One down. One down, on to the next. Uh -huh. So, Soph's gone off to try and find a bowl that actually she can try and work with her left shoulder. It's quite limiting because she can't do anything where she's got to do a big move with her left arm up or anything where she's got to pull too much on her left arm to the side. But hopefully she'll find something. So while she's off searching for a boulder, I thought I'd jump on wavelength. Uh, that's going to be one of the best problems in the area. So get 7B plus, so quite tricky. Um, and some sort of slightly crimpy moves. Uh, let's see what happens. can't do the crux move. Tried the top moves, just about got through those. Um, it's quite scary though what, with no spotters, a big sort of boulder behind you. There's definite potential because it's quite round the top, just sort of sloping backwards and yeah. See if I can get this crux move done. Well, I'll weigh them wavelength to half me. I haven't got the finger strength for that. So we'll uh, try one of the other classics on this block. We'll try um, King of the Drunks. <laughs> Starting holes are dry, but then I think the next hole's wet. So I'm trying to miss that out and do just a really long move instead. Might be making it harder for myself, but that hole is sopping wet, I can't use that. near the top. Right, let's go see if we can find something for Sophie to climb. See the sit down version of the 5C. Give it a go. Yeah. I don't know. 6B something.
a little bit snatchy. On the fingers, small finger crimps. 6B plus! Woo. I have to be very selective with the shoulder right now about what kinds of problems I can try and get up. Things so just to try to find out where is, I suppose where its limits are, but what the range is on it as well. So, that's good. So you're going to try plinth thighed. Gets 7D slash 7D plus. Starts one hand on the slopey thing, one hand in the little pocket, and then somehow get out to the lip, and then somehow get round the lip and up. Not entirely optimistic on this one. Oh, I thought you were just going to say the classic, give it a bash. <laughs> give it a bash. It's going to become our catchphrase. It's going to become your catchphrase. <laughs> found me a problem. Maybe, here we go. Try the sit down start version. You get, I think it's called backside of it. Yeah, backside of it. Backside of it. Goes up the right. no. On the backside. On the backside of the boulder. Of Utopia. Yeah. Right. Utopian backside. Utopian backside. Lovely. Right, on that note, <laughs> let's give it a go. Give it a bash. Between these rocks. 
I don't think it gets climbed much, it's quite dirty. Well, that was a nice little bouldering session. I was pretty happy with that plinthide. Plinthide? I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I climbed 7B, so quite happy to get that ticked. Um, and good to see Soph back out of bouldering. Got to be still pretty picky in terms of choosing problems for her, whether it's going to work with her shoulder, but slow progress getting there. Um, yeah, so we're parked up now. It's got a nice bit of sunshine, which means the solar panels are working well, so we can get everything recharged, ready for tomorrow's adventure. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.